Hello and welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor and this is my first upgrade to Industry V2. You can see it here, which is unchanged yet. The only upgrade it had is this uh, enclosure, but it's not part of the CD printer. But uh, why I mention it, you will see later soon. And this is only first in this series because I'm preparing at least four or five upgrades uh, on this uh, Industry V2. And the first upgrade will be the filament guide. There are a lot of solutions on Thingiverse for these two. Uh, you can download them, you can print them yourself. But uh, for me that solution doesn't work because of this enclosure. Uh, but first uh, let, let me show you what's the problem. Now this is the back side of the printer. Here is the spool. And especially when there is not many filament on the spool, the diameter is smaller. And uh, here it goes to the extruder. I hope it's visible on camera. And if there is some tension, this angle is very big, very sharp. And the filament will, it will create a more friction and the filament may rip here on the edge of the extruder. And another problem with this base setup is uh, if you depend on the position of the spool, if this is on this edge here and the filament position, unrolled filament is on, on this side, so it will be very close to the z-axis screw. Very close. It shouldn't touch by default, but sometimes I saw solutions when they are mounted a little bit different, so it's very close and it's not good if, if it touch this uh, screw lid because um, of the friction and of course uh, theoretically you should have some uh, grass here and uh, that's why you need some kind of filament guide. Most of the solutions on Thingiverse are from two pieces. One goes here, I will illustrate it with this open end wrench, but of course it's, it's can be printed uh, from the plastic. So it's here, creating here a, a, a bigger distance. And the other part is down here, pushing a little bit down this filament, so it has a nicer angle inside this extruder. What is my problem with this, that I don't have so many space here in enclosure. So I don't need this part here. So, so I, I need some kind of different solution, but theoretically I need uh, some filament guide only here, because on this position it's unrolling from spool, and it doesn't matter does it unroll in this position or maybe in this position, so uh, here it's not important. The only important thing is that here I want to give him a, a little bit better angle, where actually I want to go straight here into extruder, so only here I need some kind of uh, guide. But I don't want uh, to f have that friction because if there is some tension here when it's pulling the filament, uh, that friction will uh, may be too big. To reduce the friction, I want to use some kind of wheel here, some kind of pulley. So uh, I have this uh, old ball bearing and I want to, to print some pulley to place it uh, on, on this metallic ball bearing. So this is my imagination that, that uh, I will have a pulley around this bar bearing and it will be somewhere here and I will have a nice angle into extruder and this pulley will rotate around this bar bearing. Now uh, how to fix this here into this position? Well I thought I will use this screw here. I'm not sure is it visible on camera but here I have approximately two millimeters, the bolt stand out from the, this screw nut. I have this one millimeter plate, which uh, I will place below this nut. And then uh, here I will place another screw, which will hold the bar bearing and uh, that pulley. I know there are a lot of uh, solutions where I can somehow insert here, uh, snap it to the position, but uh, I want to use this uh, bolt for this because don't forget, it, it has to move together with the z-axis. And this is the pulley in Fusion 360. And here you can see the dimensions I used here. There are maybe two dimensions I mentioned here. The one is this 19.1 where the bar bearing will be inserted. And the other is the 65 degrees. Well, it will be a very risky printing, but uh, for PLA this overhang should be fine. And this is how it looks like in three dimensions. And here you can see the printing. And this is now the, that overhang printing, which was really hard and risky, but uh, it came out fine at the end.
not perfect surface, but uh, it will do the job. And here is the pulley. So let's try its position. It has to be approximately here. Mm. This, this plate is a little bit short, so I have to use another one. Um, I had this piece, but I, I need a little bit longer, so probably I will cut it, this one here. But first let's try to insert the ball bearing into pulley. Ah, great. Now, if it doesn't go inside, uh, don't have to print new pulley, uh, you can try to place it in the hot water or use some stronger uh, hair dryer fan. And if the hole is too big and it will be fall out, then you can use just a small amount of the glue, but be careful, place it only it, uh, on the outer inside. It has to touch only outer ring. It's very important that that glue doesn't touch the middle ring or, or goes between two rings. And of the screw is here. It's quite good. Distance between these two holes is approximately 46 millimeters in my case. So you place here a washer. And from the other side. And I have to tie this knot in there. And it will not go anywhere. Quick check is it in the line. One more thought, uh, it looks like it, it's quite good in uh, it's holding its position, but I'm just thinking what if this became loose and just in case, if for very long printing, very small chance, but uh, to prevent this to jump out, I want to print some kind of bridge here to secure this filament uh, in this pulley. Not most comfortable for assembling, uh, probably it would be much better solution if I would use some kind of rings instead of these two screw nuts. And uh, only I have to tie it outside with two nuts. But I have to do it only once, so I will leave it as it is now.
So one more time for more comfortable assembling instead of these two inner nuts use some kind of ring with 6 mm inner diameter and it will be much easier to assemble this. Well, this was my first upgrade on the Ender 3 V2. Uh, the next one will be probably the dual Z axis. I hope you will follow me to that video too. And um, now it's time to print something. Mm -hmm.